Hello everybody, this is the Cat Plays Games again, and welcome back to Crossout 101. Today, we'll be f uh, featuring the factions, uh, going over the engineers, lunatics, nomads, scavengers, and last of these pools. Now, first off, the engineers is your starter factions. You will level with them always, no matter which other faction you've chosen. Their faction level ranges from level 1 to 30, and they feature normal medium weight, medium health parts, as well as some lightweight parts, as well as some heavyweight parts. They are the all-around faction, they do not really specialize in anything, and they you, they can give you pretty much any parts you, you need. Their vehicles are very basic, ranging from the starter car with only ar uh, armored with light machine guns and no armor whatsoever, to slightly heavier builds, uh, again, only use some machine guns and some very light armor. Up to the heavy miner, which is used as a cannon, medium health, and some light machine guns as well. Their crafting benches exist out of the common crafting benches, which we can give you the common parts, as well as the loot containers, as well as some of the event dice. The wear crafting bench features the uh, turreted cannon, uh, non turreted shotgun and the auto cannon, as well as repair kits, radiators, coolers, outpacks, scope, and some basic tires. They also feature the relic crafting bench, which can uh, get you the porcupine mine layer, the scorpion pulse accelerator, as well as the firebug flamethrower. These are the most expensive parts on the m uh, that are available because they will need two legendaries a lot of fragments, as well as a lot and a lot of resources. Although they are quite powerful, so they are really the end game choice. Final, next up is the Lunatics. The Lunatics are the more fast pulls. They, uh, uh, they are, you unlock them after reaching level 10 using the engineers, and they provide all the light weight armor parts. You have even the heaviest parts of them are only on the light to medium weight. They also give you a lot of the light frames, which are lighter but have less health compared to, compared to the normal frames. Their vehicles are rather fast, but they have little health. For example, this one only has 310 health points. And even the heaviest one only features 500 health points. There have, they have a uh, rare crafting bench featuring all the basic equipment from uh, ranging from the cabin and the engine, as well as the wheels, as well as the generator, of course. But for the uh, specialized equipment, they feature a rocket booster, explosive spear, melee weapon, as well as shotguns and unguided rocket launchers. For the epic bench, they do have shotguns, unguided rockets, and melee weapons, as well as the proximity, uh, the rockets, sorry, the spares and boosters. But they feature a uh, cooler, which is a good end game heat based equipment part, as well as a gas generator, which is the go for generator for the heavier builds. They also feature small tracks, which are lightweight and they take off a little of their maximum speed of your rig, so they are useful to small in your turning radius or getting a tough component without having to worry about losing that much of speed. The legendary crafting bench features the hammerful shotgun which uh, can temporarily disable rotation of enemy weapons when used. And the Harvester, which uh, gets increased damage the longer you are in contact with your enemy. The Nomads are the medium weight all-rounder factions, similar to the Engineers. However, these are generally have slightly better stats, having slightly better speed and sp slightly better health to weight and health to power score ratios. So, they're basically just the better version of the engineers. The uh, crafting bench features mainly machine guns, as well as radar detecting uh, detector equipment, drones, and the Charmeleon. Although the Charmeleon can be f uh, the epic version of it can be found back in the Lunatics faction again. For their epic crafting bench, they feature uh, auto cannons and machine guns as well, as well as the drone again as well as more ra uh, radio detection equipment, radiators, and miniguns. They also feature their hardened track, 
which is a good all-rounder for the, me the more heavier builds because they're very tough but at the same time not that uh, large as the armor tr uh, armor trucks and they don't take as much speed off your build as the hardened one and fi uh, finally on their side the Ratcher is a large legendary grenade launcher which launches four projectiles at once per shot and has a, a, a their power of the grenades increases over range it is uh, the only downside of this weapon is its fact that it's both heat and ammo based so it o overheats and it also has a limited ammo supply same goes for the reaper both ammo and heat based but it takes a long time before it overheats it's a minigun meaning it has uh, needs some time before it starts shooting because of it uh, the fact that it needs to spin up the barrel but it has a very high rate of fire and a still moderate damage per shot if you compare it to the rate of fire balance out. The vehicles feature some small auto cannon and machine gun rigs to the heavier bolts that feature multiple Gatling guns and tracks as well. Now for the scavengers, the scavengers are the go for people that want to stay back at range or that want to have the big heavy brawler builds. Their parts sorry, the parts are very heavy but they are very powerful for the power score. For example this one has more health than their power score well compared to the lunatics which will have less health than power score but in return it, this, these things are also extremely heavy. For example this plow is almost 1000 kilogram or 1 ton which is a lot. For the crafting bench they feature cannons, uh, a melee weapon, as well as standard radar equipment, turret deploy and turret deployers. Turret deployers are good f mainly for s uh, going, uh, place them down and hunt, r run and hide. The ex and they also feature the uh, cannon and turret cannons on the epic one, more turrets, ammo packs, the grenade launcher which will be used on building your ratcher as well as homing missile launchers and more radar equipment. Your armor truck is the strongest movement part in the game both in uh, tonnage power as in uh, sheer health but it is very slow and very heavy so it's a bit of a mix match there. Their epic uh, legendary crafting bench features the hurricane homing missile launcher which fires four missiles in a row after just uh, small moments after each other and that has eight of those follies. The mammoth uh, is a, le a legendary turret cannon which uh, gets 20% damage increase for 10 seconds after you hit a target and it sucks up to three times or until you miss. Stable wolves are the Mo the sorry, what, uh, the f uh, the scavengers feature the very heavy bolts as you can see, but are also at the same time these are also the slowest bolts. So you do have to watch out for the lighter bolts because those can guys can surround you and use your side weaker side or rear armor against you. Stable wolves are the more or less end game faction. They feature very tough but yet still moderately fast vehicles and their armor is very tough but still relatively lightweight. They are only, they are only unlockable after level twi reaching 25 with engineers which takes a long long time which is a big downside. But anyway their armor as you can see still slightly more than the uh, actual power score but still not that heavy compared to the other parts. They also feature very large parts such as the gun towers and APC uh, hard modules. Their uh, and crafting benches are very limited, only featuring one cabin, two wheels, and a drone. And a uh, automatic machine gun, which automatically uh, fires targets for you, similar to how a Leviathan works. A MacLeck system, which is similar to the armor track, very slow, but very, very, very tough and heavy. A uh, 
lock on, uh, a, sorry, a uh, camera guided or uh, mouse guided or uh, keyboard guided uh, rocket. Which after you fire will automatically uh, be uh, you can steer it using A and D, as well as the end game epic cabin the humpback with 12 energy and the highest mass limit, which is probably just the best cabin in the game, just because it's, uh, it's an epic and not a rare one. They only feature one legendary as well, which is the Mandrake Howard Sorcerer's Eternity Gun. It fires five shots in. Uh, after each other uh, in volleys, a total of 6 volleys. It also has the highest energy drain of all weapons, being 8. It's very powerful, but it cannot be used at very short range unless you somehow flip your build to get shorter range. The vehicles are very tough. Already, starter one, the first one already has 800, but they also have very high power score for ranging form. 4.5 thousand to the 8.7 thousand scorpion rig. Anyway, this concludes the guide on the factions. I hope this helped at least a little bit. And I will see you guys all on the battlefield. See you all later. Bye.